Previously, we have introduced the concept of electrochemical cell. And we also said for e electrochemical cell, if the uh, external circuit is open, and uh, for three assumptions, there's no internal leak, and um, the simple electrode -elect reactions, which means there are no parasitic reaction. And uh, under this condition, the open circuit voltage would give us the so-called equilibrium cell potential, equilibrium cell potential, or EEQ. And the researchers did the experiment and found out EEQ actually depends on cell construction depends on cell construction, which means the mirrored electrochemical cell equilibrium potential depends on both the oxidation or the anodic half-cell reaction as well as the reduction or the cathodic half-cell reactions involved for the electrochemical cell. Let's say under standard condition, which typically mean 25 degrees C, one atmosphere pressure and uh, with the species let's say iron species at a standard concentration of one molar per kilogram of solvent normally water molality of one then let's look at uh, a cell of iron two plus iron versus copper two plus copper this is a schematic for such an electrochemical cell with iron and copper metal inserted into solutions that contains iron chloride and copper chloride. And sometimes we have a separation membrane that prevents the mixing of the cations. Okay, for such an electrochemical cell, if we connect the two metal electrodes with a, a infinite resistance voltmeter and we know from previously that at the iron electrode there will be the so-called reversible reaction between iron 2 plus and iron metal well, on the copper electrode, there's also the reversible reaction between copper ion in the solution and the copper metal. If it is open circuit, if there is no uh, leakage through the electrolyte solution, and under equilibrium condition, which means the forward reaction and the backward reaction, the forward reaction and the backward reaction are reaction rates are the same, people can measure a stable voltage between the two electrodes under standard condition, as we explained. And in this particular case, the measured voltage for the iron electrode versus copper electrode is minus 0 0.780 volt. Minus 0 0.780 volt. That is the measured equilibrium potential for iron electrode versus copper electrode okay which means the iron electrode is more negative than copper electrode iron electrode more negative compared with the copper electrode what this means is that if we connect the external circuit which means replacing this infinite resistance voltmeter with a finite uh, resistance between the two electrodes under this condition naturally as you learn from physics electron will flow from the more negative electrode from iron through the external circuit into the more positive side which is the copper electrode and accompanied with this flow of electrons we would observe the continuous oxidation or anodic half cell reaction, which means iron gives out electron to become iron 2 plus and dissolved into the solution. Well, at the other copper electrode, we are experience copper 2 plus combined with electron from the iron 
to form copper atom and got deposited onto the copper electrode. Okay, that's what happens when the voltmeter is replaced with a finite resistance load, and the electron flow from iron to copper. Iron side lose electron, copper side copper two plus in the solution got reduced, and the overall reaction would be iron metal plus copper two plus iron to become iron two plus and the copper metal. Okay, so this is one electrochemical cell. In comparison, let's look at another electrochemical cell of iron 2 plus iron versus zinc 2 plus zinc. This is a schematic for that electrochemical cell. Similarly, iron metal and zinc metal are inserted into solutions that contain iron chloride and zinc chloride. And of course, sometimes people we would have a separation membrane that prevents the mixing of the cation while allowing the anion to travel through it. Okay, and uh, similarly, as what we mentioned, on the iron electrode and its corresponding solution, we would have the reversible reaction between iron 2 plus and uh, iron metal. On the zinc electrode, we would have the reversible reaction between zinc 2 plus and zinc metal if the resistance between the two electrodes is infinite and there's no internal leak, electronic leak uh, through the electrolyte and there's no parasitic uh, reaction at the electrode. Under this condition, people can measure an equilibrium potential, so called uh, uh, equilibrium cell potential between the iron electrode versus the zinc electrode. And in this case, the iron electrode mirrored versus zinc electrode, the potential is positive 0.323 volt. Positive 0.323 volt. It means in this case, for this particular electrochemical cell, the iron electrode is more positive than zinc electrode. Iron electrode is more positive than the zinc electrode. Okay, what does this mean again is that if we are connecting the iron electrode and the zinc electrode with a finite right resistance, not this infinite resistance voltmeter, but with a finite resistance between uh, iron electrode and zinc electrode. Then from physics, the electron would move out from the more negative side, which is the zinc side, through the electrode into the iron uh, electrode. And what does that mean is that on the zinc electrode, we will experience zinc metal give out the electrons to become zinc 2 plus iron and dissolve into the solution. And the released electron will flow through the external circuit into the iron electrode and achieve reduction half cell reaction on the iron, which means iron 2 plus combined with the electron from the zinc side to form iron atom and got deposited onto the iron electrode. Okay, and in this case, the overall a full cell reaction would be zinc metal plus iron 2 plus to form zinc 2 plus and iron metal. Okay, so this is what the two examples that we give here. Two electrochemical cells, both involve iron 2 plus and the iron, but the other electrodes are different, and then we are seeing different so called equilibrium cell potential. Different equilibrium cell potential minus 0.78 volt for the cell on the left versus positive 0.323 volt for the cell on the right. Okay, this is 
what we talked before, the equilibrium cell potential, EEQ, actually depends on cell construction, depends on both the oxidation or anodic half-cell reaction and the reduction or cathodic half-cell reaction that are involved in the electrochemical cell.